Hello friends, I'm Parois and today I'm going to show you how you can create a nice uh, QDial application in PyQt5. Uh, let me show you what we are going to make in this video. Uh, this is a simple application that we are going to make. We have a spin box and also we have a uh, QDial. Uh, now if I make it, you can see that this is changing. Uh, uh, and if I change this, you can see we have uh, 100 it is related in with uh, spin box uh, okay now let's get started I have uh, made a new uh, Python file at the name of QDial app uh, now I'm going to import uh, I need to import from uh, by qt5 dot qt widget import q uh, dialog qdial huge box layout and also we are going to import sys uh, now I'm going to create a class window. It inherit from Q dialog. Uh, write the constructor and in it also super. Okay. Uh, now we need some parameters in here. The first one is the title. Uh, I call it dial application. Also, I need a top to uh, 40, left to 400. I need a width to 450. Also, I need a height to 300. Also, we should write an icon. Uh, icon.png okay now uh, self dot set window title we want to set our window title to title and we want to set the geometry set geometry to top a left and width and height okay like this uh, now also we need to set our icon uh, so dot set window icon to also you need to import in here uh, from myqt 5qt GUI import uh, cube icon like this okay now in here we write the cube icon and write your icon Now let me make my application in here, make my main loop also application, app, uh, I forgot to import queue application here, queue application, now app queue application, uh, sys.rgb, make a window object, window, window, we should show the window and uh, app dot execute. Now let me run this. Okay. Uh, now you can see we have a nice uh, window in here with a nice icon. Now we are going to create a method in here. I call it diff init UI. And here I need a Q dial. Also, I need to set the which is giving me error. I think it is indent problem. Yeah. Yeah, now it's correct. Also, you need to bring this in here. Okay, now we are going to uh, dial uh, dot set notch notch visible to true. Make it true because we want to. It should be uh, it should be the notch should be visible. Also, I'm going to make a spin box Q. I forgot to import this. Q spin box 
now in here create the spin box also you need to make a horizontal box layout QH box layout now we want to add our widget to our H box layout dot add widget we want to add dial also hbox dot add widget and we want to add a spin okay uh, now if I run this let me uh, call this cell dot ui and if I run this okay right now there is nothing also uh, you need to set your layout and here uh, self dot set layout to H box layout now I'm going to run this okay uh, now I have a, a Q dial also I have a Q spin box but right now uh, it is uh, uh, not working uh, and it's not functional now I'm going to make it functional the first thing we need uh, we need to uh, make a value changed uh, signal in the slots uh, dial dot value changed and connect this to the spin dot value okay spin dot set volume Also now, uh, if I run this right now, uh, it will work just for QDI. Now if I change this, you can see now the spin box is changing. But if I change this, um, our QDI is not changing. Now we want to uh, take the spin uh, dot volume changed and dot connect dial dot set volume. Now let me run this and also let me make it like this. This will be our complete code. Uh, you can watch this. Now I'm going to run this. Okay, now if I make it like this, it's working. And if I work with a uh, spin box, also uh, it is working like this. Uh, thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, subscribe to my channel.